Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Um, last night, you know, I was having the issues of box three of three. Well, I called 1A Auto when uh, I got in for the night as I was editing, the, you know, last night's video, I was uh, also on the phone with them and they said, well, we only show two boxes shipped. So uh, they were gonna send me out the new rotors and then my wife texted me today and said, hey, box three of three showed up. So um, I am able to do front brakes tonight on her car. So I guess I'm going to have possibly an extra set of rotors unless I call, try and get a hold of them. And if they haven't shipped them out, tell them not to ship them out. So um, when I called them, like I said, it showed on their computer that there was only two boxes shipped. And I said, well, I said, I have stickers on my boxes that says one of three, two of three, but no three of three. So um, I have no idea. And I don't think she really knew what she was talking about either. But uh, nevertheless, you know, rotors are here, so I'm going to get her front brakes done tonight at least. Um, that's my goal anyway. Everything should go rather smooth um, because everything is going to be new. I don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning rotors, uh, taking them and have them turned um, or anything of that matter. The only thing I need to worry about is getting, you know, the bolts out and stuff like that and pressing the... Uh, the pistons back in on the calipers um you know, her car's a 2012 it's pretty clean for you know almost 100,000 miles so i sh it shouldn't be just too bad at all the worst part about it's going to be is getting it up in the air finding a place to put a jack to get it you know jacked up so um her hardware kit doesn't look that bad so i did not even go and and purchase any so I'm just gonna use what we have right here and go from there. I had thought about painting her calipers for her, but I just don't have that kind of time. She has to go away for the weekend. Um, she can't drive my truck because my truck's a stick and she doesn't know how to drive one. So, uh, <laughs> so we're kind of stuck. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna get her brakes changed and work on her vehicle tonight. I have some other stuff coming. I'm trying to figure out and get my injectors ordered for my truck. So that's coming also. So you guys stay tuned, subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification. So anytime I upload a video, you guys are notified. So right now, let me go grab a jack and see if I can't get this thing up in the air. All right, with the wheel off or with the car jacked up and the wheel off, I didn't have any jack stands that are short enough so i just grabbed me some trusty old blocks of wood and let the car down on the blocks of wood just so i would have some uh, safety underneath there with now with it not just sitting on my jack so i've never done brakes on uh, a newer charger like this so this is going to be kind of new to me um i did check your caliper bolt is a half inch and then your caliper bracket is a 13 16 so for right now i guess um, I pulled this off just like I did on my truck the other day and uh, we'll go from there so like I said this is kind of all new I have no idea never done it but I mean brakes are pretty much self-explanatory all right one thing I just noticed you do have a nut here that you have to hold on to see so as that spins so I'm gonna have to put a wrench on that and hold it to be able to take this uh, caliper bolt out. All right, I'm gonna tell you something that's really screwed up. This caliper bolt is a half inch. This nut is an 18 millimeter. So that is uh, really, really kind of screwy. So I guess we're going to start over again and uh, see if we can't get this off. go get a screwdriver and give it a nice pry and it comes right off just like that lay that right down there on the a-arm grab my other socket and pull off the caliper bracket Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. Comes apart pretty quick and easy. We'll lay them up here, match them up, make sure they're right. But I'm pretty confident in the fact that they are, which they are. 
I don't, I mean, these don't look like they're in bad shape, but, uh, and maybe it's only one of them that's warped. I don't really know. But just for mine's sake, I just went ahead and bought all four of them. Um, just because of the price of the kit, you just couldn't go wrong. So, that's now just garbage. So we'll get this cleaned off, get it on the car, um, get the pistons pressed back in. Those go in just like on my truck. Um, I'll grab a C-clamp and one of the brake shoes or something like that and then just push those, push those back in place. All right, these will push in just like my truck did. Um, the fronts are a push-in style and I'm sure the rears are a twist-in, if I'm not mistaken but not 100% until I get it taken apart. And you can see they go in pretty easy. I mean, I'm just twisting that by hand. Uh, I do have the cap off the reservoir up there underneath the hood. The dust seal's puckered just a little bit. All right, one thing I noticed too, her old ones only has squealers on, well, it has squealers on both pads, but just on the top on each pad. The new ones, these Nakamoto's, has squealers on top and bottom, and then on both front and rear pads. Now these pads are all the same, so there is no front and rear. Um, just like, I mean, like on my truck, you know how there was a front and rear. Uh, also, with the caliper bracket, I noticed there's those little tabs right there. Those were bent up to hold the brake pad in place. So uh, I just took a pair of pliers and squeezed those down so I could get the new pads in place. So right now we'll work on putting these pads in and then put the caliper bracket back on and uh, get this side buttoned up. I'll get the other side taken care of, trying to get the truck turned, or the truck. Yeah, used to work it on my truck. Uh, try and get her car turned around and then uh, try and get the backs done today too. Now, I ran because hers were having a hard time staying on there, like on my truck, you know, that just didn't have any problems at all. I ran a couple of lug nuts on there just to hold the rotor in place. Now, I did tell you, these rotors are not directional, but I'm anal retentive enough to make sure all of these are going the right direction. So this one over here will also be pointed this direction for the driver's side. So, and then I'll make sure the back rotors Make sure the back rotors are doing the same thing. Just my own OCD, anal retentiveness, whatever you want to call it. I just I can't stand when things don't match like that. So um, uh, I'll get that taken care of. Get these shoes in, pads on, shoes, pads, pads is what they are. Shoes are on drum brakes, and uh, I'm hoping to do the back tonight too. Just depends on what time it is when I get done with the front. So let's grab my pads and put these in place. Take and squirt just a little bit of stuff on there. Everything's nice and loose. And I did check these slides before I put it back together. I just forgot to show you that, that they did move in and out nice and free. Um, everything is good. So uh, that is all there is to it with the passenger side. Um, pretty quick, easy, painless, as you look at my chest and not at my face. All I know is it is stupid hot out again today. Uh, we had... Uh, humidity levels well into the 90s and temperatures I think was like 89 today I think the with the heat index it was like 98 degrees out as you can see from my face probably the the sweat running down off me um, so I want to get this side put back together I'll get the driver's side taken care of and then turn the car around and turn my attention to the back I, 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 I,
done got the car turned around and the back end jacked up uh, I do have the ability to put it underneath the transaxle in the back so or the differential whatever you want to call it uh, the car is all-wheel drive there's just so much plastic shrouding up in front that there's no place for me to really put a jack so I had to go in from the side use blocks of wood do one side time it's all good it's all done so I'm happy with that this is what was on the front you can see right there it's just not even it wasn't even come in contact with the squealer but the brakes were squeaking so bad and then like i said one of the rotors were warped pretty bad so i just that's what prompted me just to get all new rotors this is the driver's side here i marked them driver front passenger front um i did get them marked so i knew which ones was which uh there's the other one None of these pads were even close to the squealers, so I mean the car wasn't even close to needing a brake job. But with the rear brakes or with the front brakes being uh, the warp, the rotors being warped, that's what prompted me just to go ahead and do them. And then, like I said, with the money that I, as cheap as the kit was, I just went ahead and did. Whoops, sorry. I just went ahead and did. Uh, just went ahead and did the whole brake job and have it done that way i don't have to worry about it anymore something else that's really really screwy the back side is still an 18 millimeter to hold that but this is a 15 and the caliper bracket is a 19. so we'll start off we'll take off the caliper we'll take off the caliper bracket and then we'll pull off the rotor compare them um right there's the new rears and like I said, I will put the uh, put them on just like I did the front. So everything is going in a forward motion. So I have the other side that way too. Just my own anal retentiveness, like I said. So right now, I want to get the rest of this done because I still want to get this video edited and up tonight if I possibly can. Nope, these are push-in too. Neither one of these calipers screw in. Both of them are just a push-in style caliper. I'm really surprised. So that means the emergency brakes must be housed within uh, the rotor, just like on my truck. Next, use 19 millimeter and take the caliper bracket off. Yep, just like uh, my truck, it has a brake shoe style rear caliper, or rear brake, or, oh crap, emergency brake. So, um, we'll get make sure those are adjusted before I put the new rotors on. So, right now, the only thing I need to do to get this ready to go is get that rear new rear rotor cleaned up, push this pad in, or the piston in, rather, so that's pushed in all the way. Now I just need to get the rotor cleaned up and get it on here to get this driver's side taken care of. Well, surprisingly enough, the emergency brake pads did not need adjusted, so all I need to do is slide, I put that rotor on and I just did a test fit real quick and had plenty of, uh, it was good, so I didn't even worry about taking it back off. So we'll just get the caliper bracket put back on. <clears throat> and put the caliper back on. I did check the slides just like on the front, make sure everything's good and moving. And that's all there is to it. That tire is ready to go back on. And I just need to do the driver's side. So I think for tonight, that's gonna pretty much do it. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the passenger side 
and driver's side's done get it back down on the ground do test drive and be done so if you don't mind hit that like button give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already done so hit that bell notification so you're uh, notified anytime i upload a video uh, until next time guys we'll talk to you later on bye bye